guys, I'm Diane from Didi Dye's Crafty Corner, and I am happy to be here today at the Not Too Shabby Shop to share a couple of cards with you that I am going to make using this stamp set. This stamp set is called Drink and Be Merry, and it features all of these delicious looking beverages in cups that is so perfect for the holidays. So I have already used these two cups. Today I'm going to focus on this one right here and this sentiment, but first eggnog. So I had mentioned in a previous video that I really wanted to do a sweater kind of background theme and um, use this mug and I've come up with a couple of ideas and we're gonna go ahead and do it. So I've already stamped them out. Um, I like to keep these videos a little shorter when they're on the Not Too Shabby Shop. I've already stamped them out and I'm gonna put them together like this just to give them a little dimension, just a little dimension. And I've cut out a couple of the sentiments as well. Not sure I'm gonna use both of them, but I might. So I've cut them out to get ready. I've also cut out some various snowflakes, big and little, that we're going to use. And I've already decided on the paper. So I'm gonna go ahead off camera real quick and color these up, and I'll be right back for us to assemble this card and talk about it. Okay, so I have cut out everything, colored what I'm gonna color. We're ready just to assemble two cards that I think are adorable. Like I said, when I saw this, this particular mug, I knew I wanted to do a sweater background. I had some Lawn Fawn sweater, I think we all do, um, sweater paper, and that's, I wanted to use it. It looked perfect to go with this, I thought, and I came up with an idea that I think is super cute. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments down below. So I've colored two mugs. One is pink because I've told you guys I'm all about a pink everything holiday this year. And of course, I've done a traditional Christmas red. Now, I was going to use the eggnog, but I remembered something that I had at Disney World at one of the resort hotels when Christmas, Christmas time, not Christmas day, you know. Um, and it was a hot cocoa with a toasted marshmallow whip topping yeah it's a thing and i wanted this to look like that so i'm going with the hot chocolate theme again i just love it so unfortunately i can't put eggnog on here and i don't think i'm going to have room for the sweet christmas wishes um, with my big star or with my big snowflake so let's just get going so i've colored them i'm going to back them just with one um, backing because i need them to have a little more height maybe i think so for one of my cards, I went, both of these have got little white strips. So um, I wanted to be some white showing and not be full cardstock because I wasn't gonna be adding a big white piece on here. So this one has got the paper just cut in strips. We're not gonna be using the small snowflakes, but we are gonna be using a big, I'm gonna use this one on this one. All right, so all I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of glue. This is gonna go so quick, I hope guys, right? And I'm gonna put this right dab in the middle of this one. Just like that. And then I'm just gonna press it down. And wherever the glue is, that's where we're going to stick. And then I'm gonna stick a block on top of that. And we're gonna move on to the next one. So this one is gonna be, that one's gonna be a top folding card. And the next one is going to be uh, top folding also, but in the landscape versus the portrait mode. And for this one, we're going to be using blue, but still one part, or it's more like a, well, it's blue, I guess. And again, we're not looking for perfection, but we are looking for pretty, right? So it's kind of important that we kind of get things right. So again, this is just stitched on the sides to give it a little bit of um, decoration. And we wanna have a little bit of white on the top and a little bit of white on in between. And then this is the one where I think this one's gonna be too much white on the bottom and that is okay. And I don't mind showing you guys my mistakes because 
I don't think any sit down card making session is perfect, but look how good that looks. Okay. All right, that's pretty, I like it. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with our snowflake. I'm gonna put the glue right there. I don't know why I didn't do this on the first one. Makes it a little easier, right? And we'll go right there. And we're gonna do the same thing. This one's gonna go in the middle, more or less. And we're gonna push it down. And then I'm gonna trade them out. Okay, so there's our red one. Okay, so I put a little foam on it. We're gonna release the backer. And we're gonna pop it up right in the middle. Hmm. Nope, that's not gonna work. I need it to go. I can hear those grandbabies out there. Grandpa's watching them, but. All right, I'm gonna do just like that. All right, so this is gonna be our portrait, right? So I am just gonna glue this down. We're gonna be showing a little bit of white. around it, which I'm hoping is gonna make that white in the center pop. Maybe over just a little bit. <laughs> Super cute, right? I like it, but I'm really excited for the pink and blue one. Let's get our blue one. I really like, I like, the, I like both of them, but this one is screaming to me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add this to that star and see, oh my gosh, I just love the contrast of the blue. I'm just gonna set it down gently. All right, so let's see, a couple of small ones maybe. Oh, that is so cute, right? Yes, we're gonna do that. Here and here. And I'm just gonna try to do it with my fingers. Whoa, pretty. All right, I need another small one. Oh, I think that is so cute. Final card, so cute. I love it, I love that little mug. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'll show you the end results in just a moment, of course, but I think that is super cute. And I don't think I wanna do, we could do this one. And maybe this one, what do you think? I think that's too much though. No, never enough bling. We're gonna go for it, even though it's gonna be odd numbered. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I dropped that one upside down. Pretty. All right, so there's that one. All right, so now, what are we gonna do here? Wonder how old these stickles are. Again, trying to use stuff in my craft room, right? Let me try to make it a little bit rounder. All right, that's cute. It's got a little bump on it and I'm all right with that. And I want it to kind of hang off and I don't want it to be straight. And this one will be smart enough to put down first. And I want it to do the same thing. 
I don't want it to be straight, just a little off and hanging off, just like that. All right, it is a little darker, but it's super cute, and it kind of matches the darkness of our little sprinkles. And that is card number two, guys. What do you think? I think it's super cute. So once all this dries, I'm going to put my, um, I'm going to put this sentiment right there in the middle, and I might even pop a candy cane in there, and that's going to be so sweet. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So those are my two cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. I love the Not Too Shabby Shop, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.